Hey, good morning, 6.49, and a little late starting prayer time. Those of you joining us on Spreaker, good morning. Those of you who've been hanging in on us on uh, Spreecast, God bless you this morning. So glad you could join us as uh, we go before God in prayer and lift up the prayer requests that have been called in. Anna, what do you got for good news for this morning? First Chronicles 16, verse 29. All right. Starting at verse twenty-nine. Excellent. Let's let's okay. uh, let us pray. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead. Okay. Give to the Lord the glory due His name. Bring an offering and come before Him. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before Him all the earth. The world also is firmly established; it shall not be moved. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad, and let them say among the nations, "The Lord reigns." Let the sea roar in its fullness. Let the field rejoice in all that is in it. Then the trees of the woods shall rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. And say, Save us, O God of our salvation. Gather us together and deliver us to give thanks to your holy name, to triumph in your praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Mm, thank you, Lord. We bless you and we praise you. We honor you, Father God. Oh, thank you, Anna. Lord, we just thank you for your word. Take her Bible and just decree and declare the praises of you with the word of God. Isn't that the awesome thing, God, about praying? Is by your Holy Spirit, you don't leave us speechless. By your Holy Spirit, we have the very words of you to pray and to praise you. So, Father, we come with our brothers and sisters this morning, and we decree and declare your goodness and your mercy, that you are, God, a glorious and mighty God. You are resplendent, more majestic than the mountains of prey. So, Lord, we join and we sing to praises to you. We join that chorus in the heavenly realms 24 hours a day. They are saying, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. So we join our voices, Father. God bless you. Father God, we just thank you that you are able, that when we draw near to you, you draw near to us. Father God, we thank you that as we lift our voices to you, it's amazing what happens. You inhabit the praises of your people. So right where you are, um, those of you who are listening live, those of you who are listening on Spreaker, those who are listening recorded, whatever room you're in, Lift your hands, lift your hearts, and give him praise. Let that very room that you're in be a praise tabernacle. Let it bring in in a new force of the presence of the Holy God who loves you. God demonstrates his love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God loves us. He gives us the opens the eyes of faith of our heart. That if we confess with our lips Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. So, Father, open the eyes of faith this morning to lift up and fix their eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of the faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and even now is seated at the right hand of God the Father. So, Father, we thank you, and we come into the presence knowing who we are in Christ, that we're hidden in Christ, that you've transferred us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. What the light reveals, the blood covers. If we confess our sins, God, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we bless you, O Lord. We say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name who heals all your diseases, who pardon all your iniquities, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your years with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle. Later on in that same psalm, it says, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love. For you. As far as the east is from the west, so far has removed our transgressions from us. Just as a father has compassion on his children, so you, Lord, have compassion on us. So we do. We lift up our hearts and we give you the glory and praise that's due your name. We use the very words that Anna opened up. He sings to the Lord, all the earth proclaim. 
the good news of his salvation from day to day. And that's what we get to do, Father, as we open our voices, as we join with our brothers and sisters. We lift our voices. For you are great and greatly to praise. You're also to be a feared above all gods. You are the God of the people. Uh, you are God and the peoples are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and gladness are in his place. And as we say, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord. Give the Lord the glory. Do his name. Bring an offering and come before him. So we bring an offering of our hearts. And we bring an offering of our praise and thanksgiving, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father God, worthy are you. Holy, holy are you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, that you're hearing the praises of others now as they are right where they are giving you praise mm. offering up their hearts thank you Father God you are beautiful you are holy you are just mm. thank you sweet Jesus thank you Lord arise oh God and may you come to the, to the aid of those who cry out to you. Lord, I thank you the eyes of the Lord roam to and fro throughout the earth to strongly support those whose hearts are loyal to you. Someone this morning needs to know that God sees, that God is able. Someone listening, either recorded or live, needs to know that no mountain is so high that God can't move it and use the very words of your lips by faith in him to move that mountain. Someone needs to know that the pain that they feel, that God feels that pain. And we're going to stretch our hearts and our hands and believe that God can take that pain away and healing can come forth. So, Father, we thank you that you're Jehovah Rapha, your God who heals. As we lift up prayer requests for people who have called in for healing, we thank you for healing the families of those that are praying now, Lord. Many lifting up uh, their daughters and their sons. Thank you for doing a healing work with Trevor, I mean, Levi and Landon, Jean and Emma. Lord, thank you. We pray for Becky, a fa uh, uh, another family member, Lord. I pray for healing for her and her whole family, Lord. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Just the yuck that's going around, Lord. We're going to. Instead of the yuck, we're going to pray for your glory to go around, your very presence to go around for healing these families. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Thank you, Father. We continue to pray for Ariella, Lord, that you would touch her body and healing for her. Lord, we pray for uh, Nicole. We pray, Lord, that you continue to shore her up in her faith, Father, that she'd pray in the Holy Spirit and rebuild her faith, lifting up her daughter Anna and the grandson in that situation. We thank you for Julie Carrington, Lord, that you are touching and healing her body and giving her new strength to arise into this hour, to speak, to go with the, the giftings, Lord. Is that rain? Yes. Oh, Lord, thank you for the rain. A big mm. tree just fell. Oh, a big tree just fell. That's what that was. Wow. Thank you. The tree fell and it didn't hit us. Oh, Lord, thank you for the rain of your presence. Liquid sunshine, as David calls it. Thank you, Father. We bless you and we praise you. Father, for those that we've been standing in the gap, we call it the C list, the Christ list. The doctors may say cancer, but we'll say healing. We'll say health. We'll say wholeness in the name of Jesus Christ. For Frank's wife, Carly. For Jody. For Mike. For Nancy. And other names that are on hearts thanks <laughs> thank you father we love you and we bless you oh we thank you we bless you father as today we go into the closer and closer to the elections today we're praying for generosity from Acts 20 verse 35 in all things I've shown you that by Working hard in this way, we must help the weak 
and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive. You know, Dave always says this guy doesn't need our money. He doesn't need our wealth. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. He owns the, the hills for that matter. But he is a spirit and none, needs none of the things we need. But giving the Lord is not about his needs, but it's about ours and others. And so, Father God, I just pray that you are restoring the understanding of the blessing of giving. That as we give, as giving unto the Lord, it, it, it puts us under your care, your loving parameters, your the blessings of obedience. So, Father, I pray for provision that this nation would continue to give. I pray, Lord, that you will, that we'll honor you with our wealth. That I pray for a spirit of generous, generosity to well up amidst those in America. I pray that you be honored as we give abundantly and with a right attitude. I pray, Father, that you'd stir up. You'd stir up those that see the need and know that they have a gift to give. So, Father, as we go closer to uh, the election, Father, I just thank you that you're stirring up. What's that verse, Dave? The, uh, help me out. Uh, about the wicked? Yeah, that the Lord Store, stores up. The well stored up for the wicked well, belongs to the righteous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and, you. Lord, as we praise you, even as we praise you in song, I'm going to thank you, Father, that you are able, you are able to hear our cry. In the name of Jesus, as we lift up praise and thanksgiving, and I'm trying to play a song that we can continue to praise and worship God. I thank you, Father, that it's not going to work, and that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Someone have a prayer request up there. Oh, no. Amen. Uh, we uh, just give me a second because I like to praise God with these songs. So we are going to pray. That one wasn't going to work, so we will try another one. If you give me a second, okay. it is in beta mode. What oh, does that, that, that mean? worked. It worked. That I am going to submit this, and if you I see, if you see a video, don't push play. Levi said, Anna. I said, who is that? And he said, Anna. Uh, drag the, drag it. See where it says the drag window? Go ahead and drag it to the middle there. And let us continue to offer praise to God. Knowing that he hears our cry.
I think uh, someone needs to hear this one verse as we end. It's from uh, uh, it's Psalm 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. For you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Amen. And I agree, we will continue. As you can see, Julia has quite a heart and quite a ministry to orphans, widows. So we give them praise as we continue to pray throughout this day. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you joining us on Spreaker, on Spreecast, whether it's recorded or live for the social media.